Frank Marshall is definitely the name to be conjured with among ventriloquial figure makers in the 20th century. He was probably the seminal figure maker. He turned out all the most famous television dummies. Uh, he made Jimmy Nelson's Danny O'Day and Farfel. He made Paul Winchell's Jerry Mahoney. Uh, Von Dike Van Dyke's Curly Q made all the recognizable figures. Now, for years, uh, there was somewhat of a, a controversy over whether or not Frank Marshall made Edgar Bergen's original Charlie McCarthy or even had a hand in it. And we've recently, fairly recently, discovered some documents that conclusively uh, determines that, in fact, he couldn't have had anything to do with Charlie McCarthy because being as Charlie McCarthy was made in 1922, Frank Marshall definitely had nothing to do with Charlie McCarthy. But he did have lots to do with almost all the subsequent figures. And, and for years, if you saw a ventriloquist with a figure, chances are it was a Marshall figure, especially if it was a professional ventriloquist, because that was the hallmark of a pro having a Marshall ventriloquist figure. And today, of course, they're highly prized collectibles. Frank Marshall made figures for about 40 years. So he certainly turned out a lot more of them, and it's all he ever did. His whole life, he made ventriloquial figures. He made hand puppets, he made marionettes, but his specialty were the ventriloquial figures.